uh, of our Father Christmas. You know, Father Christmas comes from St. Nicholas, who was a dark skinned person. That's why he had white woolly hair, because he was up in age. He's an old, dark, he's an old uh, 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 black person, so you can understand, with white woolly hair. So, yeah, it was a comical example that you just made, but I'm just giving you the historical context to prove what I was saying at the scriptures. So I'm double right now. I still don't believe it. <laughs> I just don't think it's a, I don't know if it's so what, What's this diagram? Right, so this diagram here, this image here, that's dealing with um, the society that we're living in right now, right? Now, every uh, empire that's existed was prophesied before it came into existence, right? So this was a prophecy of how this empire that we're living in was going to exist. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Right, so the prophecy is that what? I'll read it, I'll, it's, it's better I'll read it out of the scriptures and try to explain it. I'll, I'll explain it as I go. So it says here, uh, the book of Revelation 17 and 1, it says, And they came out, uh, they came, one of the seven angels with me, that I had the seven vials and talked with me, right, and saying, Come hither, and I'll show you the judgment of the great whore that sits on many wars, right? It's not actually a person, it's dealing with a country. Many wars represents people, right? The great whore represents America. It's going to explain all of this, right? With whom all the kings of the earth have committed fornications with, because the kings of the earth go back and forth making trade deals and deals with America. Okay, so it says, um, uh, uh, and the inhabitants of the earth have, have gone drunk with the wine of the wrath of a fornication, because immoral, uh, 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 immoral ideas. Where do they come from? From America. They do. They just do. They just do. Yeah. Right. Okay. Where? Where? Okay. Sony Pictures. Where is Sony Pictures based? Where is Disney Pictures based? Yeah. Right. Where the major entertainment comes from America. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's what it's. That's what it's talking about. It's dealing with the direction. That's where, who, who sets the tone. Yeah. People wear a suit because not because their forefathers wore a suit. Because they watch what they've been programmed to. They do what they've been programmed to do. Yeah. Okay. So it says uh, seventh, uh, third verse. Right. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colour beast having full, uh, full of names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns that's what you're seeing here a woman sit, sit upon a scarlet coloured beast having seven heads and ten horns now I'm going to jump here I'm going to have to go fast now right and hopefully we can keep up so this is the book of Genesis 25th chapter now within the bible right whom, uh, whom, whom you know as the so called white people here they was described as being red okay because they're not really white they're really red Right, but we've identified not all white people are Edomites and not all black people are Israelites because everybody's intermingled right now, right? So Genesis 25 and Genesis 25 chapter, right? And this is dealing with uh, Isaac, um, Isaac with Rebecca. You know about Isaac and Rebecca within the Bible? Right, it's one of the forefathers, the, the man that had to kill his son. Oh, yeah, well, yeah that had to yeah, sacrifice yeah, yeah. his son. This is it, right? Oh, no, 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 this, uh, this is the son. This oh, is this Isaac is the son, right? So, um, and when her days were to be delivered and, um, and um, were fulfilled, right? Behold, they were twins within a womb and they came out the first red all over like a hairy garment and his name was Esau, uh -huh. right? So that nation of people was going to be what? Red as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's what that's talking about. That nation of people is that red dragon, okay. right? Like I said, because the, 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 uh, 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 animals do what? Right? Beasts do what? They devour people. That's why it's likened onto a red dragon because that power structure that they have, the red people that run the world right now, it devours people. Hiroshima, what happened with Hiroshima? You had them Japanese just killed. Yeah. Syria, yeah. Iraq, yeah. right? Uh, 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 Libya, and so on and so forth. That's what the red, great red dragon does within the earth. They the devour. But that great red dragon, which comprises of Germania Major, Major, Germania Minor Majors, the Spanish, the French, the British, the Greeks, that red dragon is known as what? It's known as NATO. And NATO is principally controlled by who? Yeah, yeah. America. Yeah, is it? That's why you got the, the woman that sits on top oh, yeah. of the, you know what I'm saying? The beast is one thing, right? The beast is one thing and the woman is another thing, but they make up the same nation. Yeah. The same power structure, because America is, is a separate entity from the NATO, yeah. but really they no, work. They in cahoots so you can understand you oh, yeah. do you understand what i'm trying to say yeah right so continuing it says when a woman was arrayed in scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones having seven uh, having having um a, a golden cup within her hands full of abominations and filthiness you know about the statue of liberty yeah now the original uh, uh, original artwork of the statue of liberty they were going to paint it just like that that's not a light that's not a light beacon in the hand it's a cup oh right. yeah yeah that's the statue of liberty 
Yeah. Right? They really was going to paint it. With, you know the colors I just mentioned? It was going to paint it just like how the scripture says. Because they know, ultimately. Yeah, it used to be. It was copper, wasn't it? That's correct, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's, it's copper. I, I forget how the story goes. But ultimately, what they wanted to do, they wanted to really put the colors on it like the scripture says. Because they recognize that they're, they're the woman that sits on top of NATO. You understand what I'm trying to say? Okay, so continuing it says here, and upon her was written the, 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 uh, the name Mystery Babylon, the great mother of harlots and the abomination of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints, right? The scripture says in the book of Psalms 15 and 5, right? I gather my saints together, them that have made a, a covenant with me by sacrifice. Do you know who made a covenant with the Lord by way of sacrifice? The Israelites. The first covenant. Oh, okay. With Moses, when yeah, Mo yeah. when they came yeah. out of the land of oh, yeah, Egypt, yeah. Yeah. that was the covenant that they made. So who are the saints? The Israelites. The Israelites. Yeah. So you can't be a saint no. unless you're an Israelite. Right, okay. Now, check it out. The scripture says that what? I, I, I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. What happened during the time of slavery? America, the woman, yeah. had a lot of Israelite blood spilled yeah. within her, right? Yeah. So when you're drunken, you, you sipping a little bit or you sipping a lot? Yeah. You're sipping a lot, right? Okay, so it says there, drunken with the blood of the saints, right? With the uh, with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus, forbade them. And when I uh, when I saw, I wondered with great admiration because when you look at America, you see what's been achieved in America. That's a, that's a, you can that's admirable, right? Now check it out. It says, and the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I'll show you the mystery of the woman and the beast that carried her, which has the seven heads and ten horns. Now it's going to go into the explanation now, right? The beast that thou sowest and is and is not and shall send out the bottomless pit and shall go into perdition. Meaning to say after the Byzantine Empire they came out back into power because they was there as the Greco-Roman empires. They went into perdition, into the bottomless pit. They was pushed out there into Georgia and Europe and those like barren lands. It's called the bottomless pit because there's nothing you can really get out of the ground okay. save the industrial revolution where you had oil out of those places, right? Yeah. So it says, um, um, yeah, so the beast that thou sawest and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and shall go into perdition that, uh, uh, and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names are not written in the book of life from the, uh, from the foundation of the world when they behold the beast that was and is not here is the, here is the mind which hath wisdom the seven heads are seven mountains right which the woman sit, sitteth upon Mountains represent countries, continents. That's why you have a summit. A summit is the top of the mountain. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I mean? A summit is the top of the mountain. So when these nations come together to have a summit, they let you know that they're represented as what? As mountains, right? Okay. Uh, on which the woman sitteth upon, and they are seven kings. Okay. Now you're getting it, right? Five are fallen, right? And uh, another is yet to come. And he he must co uh, come and continue a short space, all right? Giving you the order of how all these nations were in, were in uh, came into power. Because you didn't just have this, the British rule forever. Before them, there was a, you see what I'm saying? There was an order to how it happened, right? Okay, and, and the beast that was and is not, he is the eighth and he is of the seventh. And shall go into perdition. So the beast, which in this instance is talking about America, is of the seventh, which is the British. Right. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Because America came from who? Yeah. From the British. Okay. Right. And it says, uh, and he's off the eighth and shall go into perdition because the whole thing is going to be destroyed. They ain't living out righteousness. Yeah. They're living out wickedness, right? And then, uh, and the ten, and then the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings who shall receive no power as yet, but shall receive power one hour with the beast. So because the NATO nations that you go out there. Belgium, Denmark, France, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Britain, Greece, Portugal, and so on and so forth. This bit here, those are the ten horns, yeah. right? Up. You see the, these ten horns right there? Yeah. Those are the ten horns, right? They ain't got their, they ain't prominent like Britain or whatever. They didn't have the power there, but they get their power from what? They get their power from NATO. That's what that's that's what it's saying right there. Okay? These have one mind, and they shall give their power and strength into uh, into the beast. Okay? So the entirety of the EU. Is, Gives them the power, right? Right, and these shall make war with the lamb, and they shall, and they shall, uh, uh, and, and and the lamb shall overtake them. Now, who's that lamb? That's the Lord, yeah. right? Because the the war starts here with the with the men of the Lord pushing the word. Because what have I said? I've spoken against not against the government. I've spoken up against higher than the government. Yeah. 
I've spoken up against the elite banking families that are behind. They're the ones pulling all the strings. Yeah. You're thinking, um, what's this guy? Trump is in office, really signing? No, he's Trump. Trump's a puppet. Yeah. That's why they say, oh, when whoever's in power, the same thing gets achieved because ultimately it's elite banking families that are controlling everything, and it's elite banking families that's going to try fight up against the law when the law returns. You see what I'm saying? So it says there, um, right, 15th verse, it says, And he said unto me, The waters which thou sowest, remember we read about the waters, right Right at the beginning we said, you know, sit up, uh, sit up on the, the sea, right, come out of the sea, where the horse sitteth upon our peoples and multitude. So it's explaining it to you that what, that all of this is, this is, we're not dealing with an actual dragon, we're dealing with a nation of people that sits on top of the rest of the world, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Controls what's happening yeah. within the world, you see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so it says there are, na are nations uh, and people and multitudes and nations and tongues. The ten horns which thou sawest, the beast sit up upon, they shall hate the whole. Now that's dealing with the times we're getting into now because ultimately these Italy, Belgium and all of that, they're going to turn against America at some point. Because America is doing one thing and they want to do another thing. Yeah. This whole, this whole uh, 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 system that's been set up, ultimately it's going to fall away. Okay, and then I mean, pretty much that's that explains that image. That's not you know, that's a I'm not, I, I mean, I'm not expecting you to understand every little bit of that. There's a lot of detail that I could have gone into. That you know what I'm saying. So that's that's who runs the world right now, basically. That's what that image is showing you, right? But that's the science showing you who's it's of course it's gonna fall apart, yeah, right? So you got it, you got you had World War One, which is the Bible spoke about, World War Two, the Bible spoke about. And the scripture talks about World War Three. Right. So when World War Three comes, to, well, really, it's gotta do. It's, it's, it starts with the. Um, you know, you ever read about the Mark of the Beast? Uh, six or six. Yeah, yeah. Good. Good. Right. We know what the beast is now, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's the beast? It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a power structure. Yeah. So what's the what's the mark of that power structure? Six and six. But in physical form, what's that gonna be? What do you think it's gonna be? No, not quite. Not quite. So the mark. That's going to represent their control over the people. It's going to be the RFID chip technology that they're going to try and implant in people's hands. Now you know in Sweden out there, they everybody's getting chipped. Okay, they everybody's getting chipped. And the scripture said, I'll, I'll read it for you, so, so it will make more sense, right? Uh, Revelations uh, 16, uh, Revelations 13 and 16, and it says, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead that no man might buy or sell save he had the mark or the name of the beast or, his, or the number of his name. So when you get that mark, yeah. you're going to be able to make transactions, man. You got a bank card right now, you got contactless payments. That's the mark of the beast technology. That doesn't mean to say you got the mark of the beast. Mark of the beast is when it goes into your hands. Right. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's all up, all about. That's the mark of these people. Right. That's, that's what they're going to be pushing out there. The rulers, the, the elite banking families, they're going to say, look, you know, we're in a time of, because before you came, I was going into the uh, monetary system. The monetary system, basically, you know what currency is? Yeah. Right, there's a thing called fiat currency. Yeah. Fiat currency's got a lifespan of an average of about 27 years. Yeah. Right, now, Britain's done a little bit better than that, and America's done a lot better than that, right? Because they've lasted for so long. Yeah, yeah. But that's through the backing of oil for, or from America, and the British uh, had a similar thing happening where they, you know, uh, had, I think it was silver back or gold back for a certain yeah, amount yeah, of time. Yeah. But ultimately, all currencies come to a, to an end. They got yeah. a lifespan, yeah. right? So you got it to where you got 22 trillions worth of debt from America, and the fiat currency goes poof. Yeah. They need a solution that's going to be better than that. They're going to say, look, you need a solution that's going to be better than that because you owe us money. Yeah. You owe us 22 trillion. Here's the chip, and that's going to be your ration. You got this amount of water you can get, this amount of food you can get. Oh, it's going to yeah. be the ultimate form of control, yeah. but also too, it's going to be the ultimate uh, form of what? Slave branding. Because when you go into slave, you go into the time of uh, 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 slavery by way of the Romans, you used to have a mark that you have branded on you. Yeah. This is going to be the, uh, a super technological version of that, where you get the mark there or there or wherever you're going to get it, and that's how you're going to make your transaction and get your rationing. You see what I'm saying? That's what they want. When you talk about the new world order, that's what the new world order is all about. So the prophecy says that what when that comes to pass, when they start issuing out the mark of the beast by force. Which is usually going to happen when a, like a financial crash or a false flag attack or whatever, whatever. That's when you're going to say, okay, no, now it's time when the war, World War Three is like around the corner, right? And then the Lord's going to present Himself. You understand what I'm saying? 
Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right, man. All right, man. You take care, yeah? Likewise, man. You take care. See, yeah, you, have, you have a good one, man. All right, so, I mean, pretty much with that, you know, uh, 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 I'm going to say, all praise unto Yahweh, I see me outside with Haru Kaka Dash. Uh, double honors unto your process, a great millstone. And, you know, uh, 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 all praise unto Yahweh, I see me outside. And loads will be out here the next time.